Back again with another review. We're about to do that Tory Lanez this to Don Q. Um, I heard Don Q's one off, off, uh, off the video, off. Yeah, this reaction. I heard it before this. Um, I didn't really think Tory was gonna react to it or respond to it. You know what I mean? I didn't think he was gonna be like, "Hey, um, he was just gonna leave it alone and not like come back, come back at Don Q or nothing like that." Just because he felt like probably like Don Q just wanted clout or whatever. But I feel like it's just like a friendly sparring thing. But honestly, to my opinion, honest opinion, I feel like Tory can murder a lot of people. He can. He actually. He. I feel like people forget that he can actually rap, rap. Like Tory is a rap rapper. Like he's been. He rapped before he started singing. People forget that. And I think honestly, I feel. I feel like it's a new age kid. Like kids that are like ten, nine, and like eleven, twelve, and shit like that. That's putting their opinion in in like hip hop and being all in the comment section talking about some. Oh, you sleep. Oh, you sleep. You never heard it. Like bro, nah. Tory been rapping, rapping, bro. Tory can. Yeah. All right, let's get into this. Uh, it's called Don Queen. It's like a playoff Dairy Queen. That's hilarious. Don't Q together. Who's that? Oh, that's yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, we he got the interview from Flex, Fun Flex when uh, Nikki was on there. And she asked him how Don, who, who Don Q was. She's like, who's that? And she was like, lost who the hell Don Q was. That's a great setup for this. Let's keep going. Doing this shit once. And then he's doing it on the legendary... <sighs> The audacity, uh, you know. That, let's let's get it. I get real disrespectful when niggas get neglectful. Five minutes of hell. Oh my! He should have just named this five minutes of hell. Oh my God. Damn, he's he. You know how. Um, Don Q basically bought up Drake saying if Drake if Drake st is still rapping your number two, which is kind of true, unless Tory really gets hot in like a couple in two two more years and gets super hot and get like a really dope album that's like very introspective, like a Take Care or something like that, something in his his realm. If he gets that and then he he keeps putting out consistent features that that's going crazy like he's doing right now. He's been dropping cons consistent fire with his features or his hooks and you know or, or his verses. It's been it's been heating up for him lately. So you never know, he might just become number one. Cause remember, Drake said he's retiring at 35, which I don't believe that, but you know, that's what he says. He's calculated, so you never know what what he means. But uh, let's keep going. Popping in four cities, I made fours with ditties and sat top floors with fifties and knocking like a Styles P nephew that never made it. Forever hated on niggas like Boogie and me, cause we was popping in all the sea awards and eat with the stars. It ain't really hard to figure out who I'm speaking of for it. We about to see the Quincy body with the chalk around it. I got the full bag. Oh. oh, his name is LaQuincy Andrews. <laughs> is that his real name? Hold on. I'm about to look it up right now, bro. It's LaQuincy Anderson. Uh, he really put this man coming. <laughs> Yo, that's violation number one, bro. He really put his... Like, you know how you know a rapper? Like, oh, um, like, Tory Lanez. You don't know his real name. You know, his name is Tory Lanez. But his uh, actual name is Daystar. It's like that's hilarious. Like, like he really put this man the story of LaQuincy Anderson. He he used the playoff, uh, Pusha T's diss to Drake, uh, the story of Adidon. But he all he did was make you know that's kind of a mm, and then he he flipped it and used Drake beat with the concept of Pusha T's concept. That's that's fire. All right, let's go. Someone tell Quincy I turn beef in the midst me. How to set a century? Why did he go up against me? They dreamed on for a feature to get the pussy. And somehow you think you fucking with me. The first night I seen Dream Doll, I fucked her for free. Somehow you got one of Oh my god. I fallen and I can't get up. I need life alert. Oh my god. Somebody call life alert from Don Q, bro. Oh my, he's just spilling, he's just spilling the whole bean right now. I think he just said literally that he paid Don, he paid, um, Cat, was it Cash Star? One of them. What'd he say? Oh, what the, what the hell you say? Oh. Never had this energy for Kodak. You paid Dream Doll for a fee. Dream Doll. I was about to say Cash Doll. So many dolls, I kind of get lost in who doll is what doll and what doll is Cash. So, Dream Doll, he paid her just to, to smash. That's crazy. Now he's just putting he's just putting information out there, and it could be legit. Makes sense. He did have a song with her, so yeah, he probably did, which is kind of crazy. All right, let's keep going. Nigga found Soldier Boy Gucci headband and wore it in his cover art. You know what's funny? 
Like, he's doing a lot of um, genius things. He's using um, Twitter stuff, like the social media jokes. You know how they was like, damn, this nigga Soulja Boy um, headband is old as hell. Like, it's been through, like, y years of just being on his head collecting sweat. And then he finally got the new headband. He threw it away. And then he's like, you went and found Soulja Boy. Back to QP and Bubba touching way more money than him. They ain't even a rapper. Oh. They're fucking raw with a strong infection. And what's worse is you know it's still you go unprotected. Pills ain't working for every time it flare up. Yuck, I'm gonna let you breathe on that. I'm really baby $500. Toy going a little too hard. <laughs> so, oh my God, he's going hard. He's going too hard, bro. That's he's going in detail. Like this is a he's doing it. At, he's like he's an actual beef. Like he's treating this like an actual beef. Like he's not playing. Like he's literally coming for your head. He called you a Dairy Queen and he made you into ice cream. And like, bro, he has you scooping ice cream from a. We're only two minutes and fifty three seconds into this, bro. Two minutes and fifty three seconds into this, and he's murdering it. Like. We have a whole three minutes to go. Oh my gosh. My dick out and told y'all suck it. I'll punch your fat ass in your stomach and make everything in it go up it. Put the gun aside, my nigga. You ain't the one to shoot big guns, nigga. You got locked for a 22. These bullets rather hit your head and chest. Quit acting like you the mob. You trying to play Gianni. But you got ran out of Amazon and they be on it. He's using, he's using the concept that Drake used in Two Birds, One Stone. He was like, you niggas is watching Pacino bagging weed, hoping to say, that's the shit we need to be on, but you never went live. You the middle man in the shit, boy. You was never them guys. Right here, he's doing the same thing. He's using the same metaphor, the same concept of how Drake did it. Listen. Better for my case, these bullets rather hit your head and chest. Right here. Quit acting like you the mob, you trying to play Gianni. See? But you got ran out of Amazon and they be on it. The oh, line, I like that. All the Barbie just to say condolence. Not the money on the head, 40 minutes on stage to put a hundred on his head. Alive? This is harder than Don Q. See, he gave you way more bars. This is, this is too much. He's doing, he's giving too much. Stop. Stop, stop dissing everybody. Like, he's like, for real, for real. He needs to stop doing that because he's wasting, he's wasting. He don't see it, but he's wasting his bars. Maybe he just, maybe he's unlimitedly, unlimitedly creative and he just can't run out of juice. But I feel like, you know, he needs to stop doing that. Like, stop giving, stop doing that. But I feel like him doing, on a, on a flip side, it's also giving him a lot of clout. You know, he's get he's getting, he's doing a tactic like, like a 6 9 did or Soldier Boy did back then, you know. And he's making it into like a rap type clout chasing it's like a, it's like a similar thing but he's doing it different instead of going for straight niggas like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot you oh you stupid pussy or like talking talking to people stupid he's basically just like i'm the best he's using that tactic like i'm the best i'm better than anybody anybody want to step up and show me better than me then show me i like that but um if you like the track go ahead and comment if you don't let me know how you feel which track is better for you but i feel like Tori he marked it i'm sorry but uh thank y'all for watching man